in the next experiment we are going to make a fountain using the effect of air pressure so we are going to make a colorful fountain using the effect of air pressure the things that we need for this experiment are a plastic bottle you need a transparent plastic bottle a balloon you will need a straw you can cut the straw to whichever length you require water yes we all know we need water to make a fountain food dye i told you we are going to make a colorful fountain so here i'm going to use green food dye you will need a funnel and modeling clay so we are going to use this for the sealing purpose so shall we begin our experiment we will first begin by taking some water in the glass and next yes you all know we are going to add food dye you can use any color i'm using green here just add a few drops so now we have a green colored water now the next step is to take the plastic bottle and we need to make a hole in the bottle so that our straw fits into it so make a hole so that the straw fits into it so now you have to place the straw inside at this angle see you don't have to place it horizontally you have to place it at an angle say 45 degrees maybe and to seal the straw we use modeling clay this is because we don't want the straw to move so we are sealing it to the bottle using modeling clay another reason why we are using this is we don't want any air gaps in between because if there is an air gap the pressure is going to reduce so that won't be nice for our fountain so i've sealed the straw to the bottle the next step is pouring in the water for this i'm using a funnel and i'm pouring a green colored water into the bottle so you will need some more water it should cover the straw you can always use different colors pour as much water as you would need that depends on the size of the bottle so i have filled it up to the level i need it you will also need a tray because we know water spills from a fountain and we don't want to waste water and we don't want to get ourselves dirty so i'm using a tray our next step is we are going to inflate the balloon we have inflated the balloon and now we have to put the mouth of the balloon over the mouth of the bottle making sure the air doesn't escape so now i have placed it and now when i release my hand
see why does this happen this is because the pressure that the air applies the air from the balloon applies pressure which forces the water out of the bottle through the straw so a colorful fountain is ready so shall we do it once again so i will take out the balloon i will inflate it once again so you need to make sure that your straw is immersed in water so once again i am putting the mouth of the balloon over the mouth of the bottle without the air escaping now when i let go there is a fountain so why does this happen this is because of air pressure so the pressure that the air from the balloon applies on the water forces it out through the straw giving us a fountain so did you enjoy this experiment and why did this happen this is because of air pressure